Referee Logan Lynn assigned this contest. This thing goes back to May of 2018. Jimmy Sheen stabbed in the back by his best friend, Robbie Starr. All for the OCW Heavyweight Championship. Would you do that to your best friend? Uh, for the OCW Championship, a man will do anything to earn a shot at it. That's a fair point, Drew. But what isn't a fair point is the fact that Robbie Starr seems to be hell-bent on short oh, cover into the La Maestro-style Oklahoma roll. You almost just want these two best friends to make up and become that tag team again. The absolute best tag team in OCW at the time. You know that these two men are hungry for a win want to prove how great they truly are for the show you can't call yourself the show if you're losing regularly and you know jimmy shane's hungry to get back another shot at that ocw title well deserved i i don't understand why he hasn't already gotten a title shot don't we have a rematch clause here in ocw i don't believe so we'll have to talk to glenn lane about that tonight now a lot of my Heastral cradle could have him here too and no That's Spinebuster U style action. Oh, now mocking Jimmy as Jimmy Shane had mocked the show. It almost feels like a tick for tap. Whatever you can do, I can do, and I can do it better than you. Yeah, both of these men evenly matched. And just think about this. This was a heavyweight championship battle that you are seeing right here, right now. Nice gourd buster there by Jimmy Shane. Follows up with the throwback. And a big fall away slam. Jimmy Shane into the cover. Two is all he got, though. It's an exciting night here at the Chaparral's Event Center. Still to come tonight, the OCW Heavyweight Champion, the Guiding Light, Matthew Taylor defends against the DBI-8 champion, the Baker James Hickey. And I hear he's uh, cooking up an ass whooping here tonight. Jimmy Shane knocked off the second rope there, and the show coming off with a diving crossbody could have no. Wow, one count. Misses the chop into a tilt-a-whirl head scissor by Robbie Starr. A man that size should not be able to do that kind of athletic Beats. Yeah, that was impressive. And follows it up with a rolling neck breaker. You almost wonder, has Robbie Starr turned a corner here? I, it almost felt like he was legitimately trying to fire up the OCW faithful. Yeah. Maybe he knows how much this match means. Jimmy Shane into the corner. Robbie Starr. Oh, and Jimmy Shane diving out of the ring there. He did not Heads dive far up, enough. Suicide dive. The show showing off here tonight at Chaparral's for Thanksgiving special. And we wish all of you a happy holiday season starting, you know, at Thanksgiving, the actual holiday season, not now, which is not the holidays. It's not Christmas yet. Well, they're already playing... Christmas music in retail stores, so. Well, that's just stupid. But that wrecking ball was amazing from Jimmy Shane. Shane on the ropes. Oh! Penalty kick. PK. Any soccer team would love to have that leg. This is a more aggressive side of Jimmy Shane than we've seen him as he's defended. And keep in mind, this is a man who went to war with Gino DiCapo with thumbtacks, steel chairs, weapons aplenty. Yeah, that match back at Beach Bash. Shots right underneath the chin, it looked like. But this is a really aggressive side of No Shame Jimmy Shane here. Aggression is the name of the game in this business. If you want an opportunity at the heavyweight championship, you have to earn it. Yeah. And 
what you did last time doesn't necessarily guarantee you anything. Glenn Lane has proven, our general manager has proven, you have to earn it every single night in that ring. Absolutely. Side slam style Uranagi could have him here. Only two, though. That was dangerously close, and Jimmy Shane knew it, and more importantly, Robbie Starr knew it. Kind of a mixed reaction for No Shame Jimmy Shane there. Perhaps Backstreet hasn't come to Akron. Looked like Robbie Starr putting the brakes on twice now. Face first goes the superstar. Jimmy Shane climbing the ropes here. I think Jimmy's a little bit confused right now. Throwing up the W for the win. Oh, I think he threw himself a little bit more yeah, than he wanted. He shot that way long. If he was a shot putter, he'd have won. Nice clothesline by Robbie Starr. Jimmy Shane misses with his clothesline and a beautiful back elbow. And the DBI six winner, the show Robbie Starr, firing up with a back suplex. Amazing power. We talk about this a lot, Drew, but the power. Not to cut you off, but Starr going for the cover. And got two out of it. And you can see the emotion on the face of these competitors. They want this win so bad, and I'm worried that they're willing to do just about anything to get it. Well, that's what you gotta do in this business. Or really in life, if you want something real bad, you go out there and get it. Yeah, I would agree with you, except you don't usually try to, you know, hurt the person in front of you to try to get it. Well, that's the name of the business, Paul. Fair enough. I mean, Jake Ely is our Thunderweight champion, and Matthew Taylor is our heavyweight champion. The only champions here that we can trust are really Natalie May and Warforce right now. Jimmy Shane firing back those nice shots to the section. Gets a knee for his effort, though. That knee driven deep into the midsection, possibly underneath the ribcage. That's got to take that, that momentum and just squash it immediately. Robbie Starr looking for something here. Has him by the hand. Marty McFly. Are you kidding me? Big, Big suplex. suplex. Uh, that is strategic and simple. And that is a good strategy for anybody. Keep it simple. And you will be successful. Robbie into the cover. Into it. No. Logan Lynn, to his credit, right down the line, been very on top of it. We've been very critical of Logan Lynn, but the referee doing a great job here with these two absolute professionals. Robbie Starr maybe looking for that moonsault. No! Oh, the ball, God! The impact knocked the referee three feet into the air himself. And now Jimmy Shane looking to rally. What is it going to take? That looks like it knocked Robbie silly there. I mean, that was a lot of force he came down it with. Was a beautiful moonsault as those shameless punches come flying in and a little bit of a bionic elbow, if you will. Jimmy Shane reversed into the corner. The double knees out of the corner by the... I almost said the champion. I'm so used to him being a heavyweight champion. Roll up, roll up, roll up. No. Wow. Star looking for starstruck there. Misses. A spear. A spear from Robbie Star. 
your greatest hits are coming back at you. But notice he's unable to capitalize on it. That's like a cover band playing better than the original. Cover! One, two, he's got, no, oh my God, I thought he had him. Just a little too much time there. Who knows you better than your best friend? And that is the problem. That is the game. Oh, wait a minute. Jimmy Shane with Starstruck. Into the cover. The show's lights may be knocked out. It's over. No. no. How did he kick out of that? We talked about this at the beginning of the match. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. This is going to be... It's one of those matches where the first mistake is going to cost you everything. Air Raid crash into the cover. Does he have enough? No! no. Two and a half. And that was a devastating air raid crash by the shameless one. No shame, Jimmy Shane. And the man who held the OCW Heavyweight Championship for nearly one year. Jimmy Shane throwing up the L. He could be looking for that spear himself. It could be time for the show to end. Hey, wait a minute. It's the OCW Heavyweight Champion. Come on! And they're throwing this one out. What more can you do to this man? No shame, Jimmy Shane. What a great matchup we were having here tonight. And this no good champion has to go and ruin it. Now, wait a minute. The guiding light has that chair. Is disgusting. Somebody stop him. He's going to end this man's career. The chair in the hands of the champion. Wait what? a minute. Robbie, Robbie Star. Star. Robbie Star says no. What is going through the mind of the show Robbie Starr? He just lost by disqualification and may have just saved his best friend's career, his former best friend. It's complicated. That's putting it mildly, Paul. Oh, oh what a big shove. I think the champion's bullseye just got bigger. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it now. Let's do it. And Robbie wants the title too, making the motion. Come on, let's do this. Oh, no surprise there. The savior of OCW wants nothing to do with being a fighting champion. Somebody save us from our savior, please. Well, he might be saving himself for later tonight as he takes on James the Baker Hickey for that OCW Heavyweight Championship. Robbie Starr still in the ring. Oh, wow. Oh. Robbie extending the hand here. Jimmy Shane asking the OCW faithful if he should shake the hand of his former best friend, Robbie Starr. No. No. That's kind of surprising. Wait a minute. They throw up the W and an embrace. It's nice to see something good happen 
to Jimmy Shane for once. Robbie Star and Jimmy Shane back together.